Hello guys and welcome to a new music class with Miguel. Today we're going back to learning new things. We have finished with our song and now we're going to learn something called power chords. Now these are very simple and they're very very useful for guitar players because every power chord has the same shape in your hand. Okay? It's not like for example C has this shape, G has this shape, F has this shape. Power chords all have the same shape, but the name of the power chord will change depending on where you put it on the guitar. So let's just begin with this. First, the first power chord we're going to learn is A5. Okay, all power chords will have the number 5 in them. Okay, so A5 is this chord right here. Okay, if you see, you're only going to use three fingers fingers 1, 3, and 4. So 1, 3, and four. You will not use the middle finger, okay? You will never use the middle finger, okay? I will be very, very careful when you're when I'm grading you so that you're not using this finger. And where exactly are you going to put them in the guitar? Well, this right here, your finger number one, will go on the sixth string, fifth fret, as it says right here. And the note you play right here, that is an A. That, that is why this power chord is called A5. So you put finger number one here on the fifth fret, then you put finger three on the string right below it, okay, but two frets apart. You see here, this is the fifth fret, so this is gonna be sixth and seventh. Fingers three and four will be on the seventh fret. Finger three on the fifth string, seventh fret, and finger four on the fourth string, seventh fret. So you have these three notes. You're only gonna play those three notes. You will not play the first three strings. You only play those three strings. In power chords, we only play the strings we are pressing with our left hand, okay? So it should sound like this. Okay, this is an A5 or an A power chord. That is the first chord we're going to learn, okay? The next chord is going to be D5. Now, D5 is exactly the same, the same shape, but the difference is that now, instead of playing the sixth string, the fifth, and the fourth, we're going to play the fifth, the fourth, and the third. So from A5, we simply move everything one string down, like this, okay? On the same fret, the fifth fret, number one, finger number one, that note is going to be a D. So that is going to give it the name of D5 or D power chord. And when you play it, again, you only play the three strings you are pressing, like this. We're not going to play the sixth string because a lot of you have that problem, okay? Do not do this. Not good. Only play the three strings you are pressing with your fingers. One thing you can do is like you can put your middle finger right on top of the sixth string, not pressing it, but like just on top of it so that it's muted and you play. Okay, so that is D5. And then the next chord is E5. And the easy thing about the E5 is it's the same shape as the D5 on the same strings, but it's going to be two frets away. So one fret, two frets. So this is the E5. Okay, we begin in finger one on the seventh fret. That note is E. That is why we give it the name E5 or E power chord. And the other two fingers, fingers three and four, are going to be on the ninth fret. Okay, and it just sounds like this. So we have A5, D5, and E5. Okay, again, A5, D5, E5, D5, A5. Okay, so we're going to do a little exercise with these three chords, okay, which is actually a song. It's called Wild Thing. You can uh, look it up online. It's a very, very famous song from the 1970s. Yes, 70s, okay. It's a rock song, and a lot of power chords are used a lot 
in rock. So it's very, very helpful. Now with this exercise, you're gonna be using an online metronome, okay? Uh, we have explained this before. You're gonna have this metronome here in Google. You're gonna Google online metronome and you will set the BPM. BPM means bits per minute. You will put it at 90 BPM, okay? So that when you play it, you get the metronome at 90 BPM, okay? The exercise and the song is gonna look like this. So you have those three chords, and here I have put this strumming pattern in which you're gonna play beats one, two, number three, you will not play it, and then you play the and and the four. So it's gonna sound one, two, and four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. So on the one and two, we play A5. Then on the and and four, we play D5. Same thing will happen here. The first two chords are gonna be E5 on the one and two. And then here on the D5, it's and and four. So the exercise with the metronome should sound like this. One, two, three, and. So you play this two bars, then you repeat because you have the repetition bar right here. You repeat again from the beginning, and then you simply play this A5 as a whole note. One, two, three, and four. Let me do it again for you. One, two, three, and one, two, and four. One, two, and four. One, two, and four. One. That is the exercise okay it is very simple to understand uh, maybe the changes will not be that easy for you but the easy thing is that it's the same shape just changing from strings or from frets but the shape of the power chords are always going to be the same it's always the shape using these three fingers okay same shape and be careful that between fingers one and fingers three and four, you have one fret difference that is not being played, okay? If you do this, that's gonna sound awful, okay? There's no fret difference, okay? It should be two frets away, always, every time. All power chords will be the same. The only difference is where you do them on the guitar, but the shape is gonna be always exactly the same, okay? So as a task, you're going to play this uh, exercise, you're going to record yourself with the metronome. I want to hear the metronome in the background, okay? Do that and then you upload it to Schoology, okay? Remember to set the metronome at 90 BPM. This is mandatory. If you're feeling like you want to take on a challenge, you can put the BPM uh, at a higher number, okay? So that it's more difficult, okay? If you're feeling that it's too too uh, too fast for you, 90 BPM, maybe do it at 85. No less than that, because then it's going to be too slow. Okay, so minimum 85. Required 90. If you want to go faster, be my guest. You can do that. So don't forget to do that. Uh, practice. Upload the video to Schoology, and I will see you next class. Bye bye.